Hi everyone, this is Miss P, and this video is about dividing a decimal by a whole number using the example of 2 tenths divided by 25. This particular problem was requested by one of our subscribers, and so we're going to go through it together today. And if you have a particular problem you would like to see me solve, you can go ahead and ask in a comment. So let's start working on this problem, the dividing a decimal by a whole number, 2 tenths divided by 25. Whenever I have a division problem like this that I'm going to work through, I like to rewrite it in a way that is easier to work with long division. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this problem as 2 tenths divided by 25. When I rewrite the numbers in my problem, I just want to make sure that my divisor and my dividend are in the right place. Now, when I have a division problem that involves decimals, I have to make sure that I pay attention to both my dividend and my divisor. When I'm beginning to solve a division problem that includes decimal numbers, I really like to first check the divisor. Because remember, when I'm doing a division problem, I have to determine if the divisor is a whole number. Because in order to start my division problem, I should confirm that the divisor is a whole number. And if not, I should convert it to a whole number. And in this case, the divisor already is a whole number. It's the whole number 25. So I should be set to move on to my next step. Now that I know my divisor is a whole number and I can leave it alone for now, I look at my dividend. And as you can see, in this case, my dividend is a decimal number. So in looking at a division problem where the dividend is a decimal number, I should always remember to take the decimal and move it into the quotient in exactly the same place where it is in the dividend. So make sure that that decimal in the quotient is in the correct place value, is after the ones place and before the tenths place. Once the decimal has been moved into the quotient in the proper place so that all of the digits that are placed in the quotient will be in the correct place value, I can begin to solve the problem. In dividing 2 tenths by 25, I have to begin by asking myself, how many times does my divisor of 25 go into the dividend? Beginning with my first digit here, it should be pretty clear that 25 goes into zero zero times. I like to go through each step clearly so that I don't get mixed up at all. So zero times 25 is zero, which is the answer to zero times any number. And of course, that allows me to bring down my digit of two. Now I have to figure out how many times 25 goes into two. And again, that is going to be zero times. 25 doesn't go into two. 25 is a bigger number than two. So now I've used up all of the digits in my dividend. And 25 has not been able to go into any of them. So my next step is going to be to add a zero on the end of my number. Now, you might notice that the dividend was 2 tenths. And by adding this zero onto the end, I have changed the number to say 20 hundredths. But what we know about place value is that 2 tenths is equal to 20 hundredths. So by adding a zero onto the end of my dividend and changing 2 tenths to 20 hundredths, I'm not changing the overall value of the number. What I am doing is allowing myself to continue to divide the number into a smaller decimal. So after I've added the zero, I can bring that down as well and turn the number two that I'm dividing 25 into, into the number 20. Now what you might notice is that 25 also does not go into 20. 20 is still a smaller number than 25. So once again, 
I'm going to have to represent that 25 goes into 20 zero times. And I'm gonna add yet another zero onto the end. We just talked about how two tenths is equivalent to 20 hundredths. And both of those numbers are still equivalent to 200 thousandths. So by adding yet another zero on the end of my dividend, I'm still maintaining an equivalent number. I can bring this zero down and now I've created the number 200. Now I can divide. 200 is divisible by 25. 25 goes into 200 eight times. Eight times 25 is equal to exactly 200, which leaves us with nothing left over to worry about. After going through all of the steps, we can determine that 2 tenths divided by 25 equals 8 thousandths.